um, angle. Um, so you're going down, kind of going up, up high. Um, I'm nearing the end of my sets here, so it is a little heavy for me right now, but I'll um, lighten it up after this set and I'll show you like proper technique and stuff like that. The big thing is, is put your body weight up against the bench. Um, and when you come up, you're, you're lifting your sternum and everything up and you're, it's more on elbow drive. Just, you're just thinking elbow drive. You don't, you don't gotta worry about where your dumbbells end. It's just you're driving the elbow back and you're getting that scapular or shoulder blade squeeze and come back. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I've lined it up so I can kind of talk you through um, as I'm going through the set. So I'll get into it and then I'll kind of talk you through how to form, what you're thinking about, kind of cues to go through this exercise. So. All right. So I lean over the bench with my shoulders right at the very top. So I can kind of get that rounding of the back um, where my spine is stabilized by the, by the back of the seat. I have no fear of really torquing my torso or doing a swing because I, I can't. So having this full stretch um, is really an assist to the full range. So as I'm starting, I'm just letting the dumbbell hang. I'm finding that stretch point. So I'm memorizing this is what I need to feel at the end of every rep. So this is my stretch point. And now all I'm thinking is I'm driving my elbow back. So it's on an angle that's going up, but kind of mid range to the back. So I'm driving it up. And as you see, when I drive up, my sternum does come up with it. So I'm getting full, full flexion with every rep. So drive, flex, drive, flex. And I'm not using my spinal erectors in my lower back to bring my sternum up. All I'm doing is thinking elbow drive and shoulder blades. That's it. My easy analogy is if you're saying that your chest does not need to come up here, what you're telling me is you're doing a partial. You're not doing full range. So it's the same as a chest. To do a proper chest, to flex it, you need to pop your sternum up. So same with back. To get full range of motion, when your elbow goes back, you have to bring your chest up to get that shoulder leg all the way back, to get it. So if I just stand here seated normal, and I don't, you can physically see myself in the mirror there. So if I'm here and I don't, I'm stopping there. Like I can, I can try to drive that back further, but I'm not getting full flexion. So that two inches is two inches more on the range, two inches more on the flex point, two inches more that you put in tension on the muscle. So if you do that over months and months and months and years and years and years of training and you're stopping short, I've used this analogy before. If you're, you're negative on your bicep and you always stop here, your bicep's gonna get used to that length. And that's why you see people Big guys walk around with their elbows bent like this all the time. Because they're they're doing probably a good amount of weight, but they're not doing the full range of motion. So they have no flexibility in that muscle whatsoever. So they're unfortunately their their elasticity and their flexibility in that muscle is shortened. So now the muscle is permanently short. And the only way to do that is you're gonna have to retrain the muscle, go to massage therapy, go start stretching all that stuff, but it's going to be painful. Um, and you might put added stress on the tendon and you might eventually tear something. So the whole point of full range of motion is training the muscle for the full range, making it more elasticity, making it more pliable, flexible, and then you're going to get a bigger muscle. It's self-explanatory. Same as a balloon. You stretch out a balloon to make sure you can get more air in it. So if you didn't stretch out that balloon, you just started blowing in like a bicycle tire without blowing it up, you can't physically blow it up to full mass. It's impossible. So you have to apply it, make it pliable, and then you can put more air in. Muscle is the same thing. I don't understand why people think it's so complex when it's really not. It's a pliable tissue. You have to make it more pliable to make it grow. So 
Think about the next time when you're doing trying to do full range and you stop short. Basically, you're making your muscle not as pliable, not as flexible as it should be.